Okay, we're going to continue with the same project as last time where we did um the merge we also did um a couple of things commits so now we have the same project what we're looking to do is is to handle merge conflicts so to handle those merge conflicts we're going to go to the same project and then um we're going to see basically uh, after we do the commits how that goes so after going to a project what we want to do is we want to change two files those two files basically okay one file change it in two branches basically right so we have that file we're going to use test right so we're going to change it in main and then we're going to change it in uh, branch two the two branches that are there we're going to change that same file give it two different um basically values inside or two different uh I would say inputs inside and then um, right now it has the same content it has the same context it's uh, test test 2 and test 3 so we're just going to have that open again in branch 2 and see what it looks like there it has the same content exactly contents inside so we go back to um, the project right and then which is first lab the same the repository so when we get there what we're looking to do is we're looking to edit this file this one file in two places right so we're going to open two web ides and then uh in those two web ides we're going to have the two branches so at the moment i just have one branch open in two ides so what i would have to do is switch um the one uh, ide to use a different branch to use main because right now they're both using um, branch 2, boom, right? So we sit down there, that's what it's using. So now this one is still loading. Um, I can then do what, after it loads, change the branch, okay? Then the branch is changed, okay? So then this means that um, we can edit the file in two places, two branches, and then commit, and then see what it does okay so we have what we have test here we're just gonna change this to something else something we can see and then um, we're going to change it in the main as well so we're going to add um, underscores just to see basically just to make sure that um, we have we can see what we're doing we're not just using the branches the branch names so that we see the content inside has changed so we're going to commit both of them starting by committing um, the main nothing goes wrong there commits okay and then we're going to commit the second branch at least we have two branches we will check later or in another session we will have like more than two branches but the conflict resolution should be the same okay so now we're just going to check basically those change that change if it has occurred in uh, both the branches would have to reload for that to happen so now we can check in the branch we're currently on it's already saying uh, you pushed to branch 2 just now okay so we see there that's what's in branch 2 we change the branches to 1 to main and then uh, that's what's in main okay when it reloads okay main underscores right so now we have the same file but it has two so we're gonna do merge changes right merge requests sorry. um we can request up there but we're just going to do the more traditional one right that i saw is on the side in case that one doesn't appear i don't know why it wouldn't but it should appear anyway so then we request the merge then we have to uh, compare the branches okay then we see basically uh, where it takes us from there because the conflict should arise because we have two files that we've changed okay the form contains the following error you must okay so then that means i've been selected okay so let me just select the branch i'm merging branch two into main okay so then now from here i can just create the merge i don't want to change anything else except for don't delete here yeah. Still want to check what that does exactly. 
what does it if I delete? Okay. I did the memory file or the delete the exact file. We'll check. So now after this, it means this should have a complaint. Okay, there is the complaint match blocked. Okay. So this complaint then it also sends an email to you at this point telling you about this match block. Right? So from there we have to resolve this match block we have some options on the side there to resolve locally and resolve conflicts right so to resolve locally you would use this code on your ide vs code or whatever using it and then pycharm whatever id you're using then you just put those in the terminal right right here in this one my online ide i don't have a terminal so what i'm doing basically is um I, I would then have to just uh, open the file locally and then just edit the terminal but we won't do that for this lesson we'll just resolve the conflict using this button over here seems very convenient okay so from there we're just going to do what we're going to see what it gives us okay it gives us in line and side by side right now side by side is open and the changes are being shown to us basically the differences not the changes the differences basically or the change that we're going to make or have been made on both sides right we remember we named it in main we said main right so and then in uh, the other one we said branch two so you get interactive and then edit in line this one is what it looks like on github i saw when you have like image conflicts i don't know if they have another look as well like interactive but i like this interactive approach because you can just click when you have it it does bring up that hand to show you that you can click on which one to keep it seems very easy and very user friendly i like graphical spaces so now we want to keep branch two so we will use ours right because we're pushing into the main then um in line is how it looks so basically under each other and then side by side is much better though in terms of visually then the commit is now available so then we can just do what we can just continue with the commit uh, to source branch right look at those two basically that we have them basically now done the other one is highlighted so the one that we're going to keep right there it is in green so we commit or we continue the changes then we'll see basically what appears after that. Okay. So we we'll see that all merges, right? Image completely have been resolved. And then we just merge it. And that's it. So now conflicts have been resolved without going too far. We haven't even like gone to a space where we have to uh, do any coding or uh, do any terminal work. So now we expect to have branch two where main sits, right? So to go and look at that, we'd have to go to our project, right? And then we'll go to main. Which one do we have open at the moment? We want to see branch two in both of them. So we go to the test, the py, and then we have branch two, okay, inside main. So you see now that has changed to branch two, which means our conflict has been resolved. So if you reloaded that, you would actually you the ID, you actually find that it's uh, branch two now. Okay, there's web, the web IDE. So now in web, the web IDE, we're gonna close this one that has main branch at the bottom being used. We're gonna open the one we just opened, okay? Or we could have just changed that to look, right? So we go to the main one, and then it should have branch two in it. And that's it. So now branch two in both. If you reload at this, it would have branch two as it does anyway. So now we've resolved merge conflicts. And we'll just have to see then in the main area if there's anything we have to look at, but that's it.